Okay, so this is envelope stuffing time. I have $240 here to stuff. And yes, they are all $10 bills. Because as I've mentioned before, ATM I go to is $10 bills. Um, I don't really like going to the bank if I can help it. ATM that I go to is a lot closer to home than the bank is. So, $10 bills and 240 and um, I still have rent. Rent is okay. This next thing I have to add 22 because I need to replenish the $10 that I spent from this challenge last week. So now there's 20. I know you're not supposed to budget for the $10 challenge. And it's not me budgeting for the $10 challenge. It's just I already know I'm going to have $20 extra. So, yeah. And next is going to be... The Apartment... And I am adding 200. So all I have to do is take away 20. And then this is basically 200. I will still count it because I think that's the point of these videos is counting the money, um, the sounds and everything. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's 200 right here. Basically all going into one envelope. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is uh, I have the money right now. And... I'm going to do it. There's nothing else that I need to save for. At the moment, all my other bills are paid. So, it's all basically going in here. So, apartment now is back up to 200. It was at 75, but like I said, when winter hit, um, I was basically snowed in, so... I couldn't really leave the house to go get rent or anything, so I was using what cash I had to pay rent. But now that winter is basically cleared up for the moment, and I'm paid up on rent for the moment, you know, I'm I'm going ahead and just throwing in 200. So if we were to replenish the 75, so 200 minus 75. I've added technically 125 because I was replenishing the 75 that was originally in here. So now we're up to 200 in here. Um, I'm going to put $10 in self-care. Like I said before, self-care is everything. And I think I'm going to need to get shampoo and conditioner soon. So that is why I'm putting $10 in here is so that if I run out this weekend, I um, I know I have money to go get it. And I do have money in my account, so it's not like I don't have any more money anywhere else. Um, I'm going to add this last $10 into here, and there's already one, two, three, four, there's already $4. So now we're up to 14 in savings. And savings is different from apartment. Savings is uh, towards whatever. Um, whatever I need. So savings is not technically untouchable. But I'm still going to try and keep it as untouchable as possible. But um, I'd like to keep rent and apartment untouchable uh, as much as possible. So, um, yeah. 
200 in here. This is a really thick envelope. Man, um, I may have to exchange bills at some point. But uh, for now, I'm going to stick to the 10s because, like I said, bank is far to walk to. And so um, there's 14 in here, and there is $4 in the emergency. So one, two, three, four. I know it seems weird to have two types of emergency folders, but it's also mostly because I don't know what to do with this this last envelope. And then we have my receipts, which I have three receipts to add into here. And no, I still have not gotten the 160 for the art sale. Um, but once again, once I get it, it will get thrown in right to here. Um, and I, I have claimed the funds from Patreon and Patreon got added onto here. So now there is a $30 on here. Um, total because there was already money on here and then I added patreon and now there's thirty dollars onto this Jerry's Artorama card so once I reach a hundred I was going to do an oil painting purchase for supplies for oil painting and then that was going to be an art haul so um rent 120 in rent twenty dollars in uh, $10 challenge. Two. Sixteen. So, twenty dollars is now in the ten dollar challenge. Two hundred is now in... Apartment. $10 is in self-care, $14 is in savings, and $4 is in here, and then $30 on Jerry's. And so, and this is still empty. It just, it had $25 on there, but it is actually empty. I'm just keeping it here, like I said before, just to, when I'm going through monthly finances, I know where the extra $25 came from. Um, and then $30 on cherries. So, going really strong right now. I am excited, and that is uh, the plan. So, um, let's get back to the vlog. So this person thinks that I wasted a video talking about oil pastels, reviewing something that was new to me, and he said it was a waste to review something that was new to me. But isn't that the point of trying something new, and since that video I have learned a lot on oil pastels. Um, I have made a lot of oil pastel artwork and I now have a large collection of oil pastels. Um, I don't think it's a crime to try something new, even if you know nothing about it. Don't let someone tell you that it's a waste because you're learning you're doing something new, you're trying something new, and you never know, it may end up being something you really, really like. Um, and I really, really like oil pastels, and I'm going to continue to use them. So, yeah. I'm not gonna delete negative comments.
I probably should have mentioned that before. Um, no matter how this channel goes or grows, I am not one to delete or run away from negativity. Um, you know, I have dealt with it my whole life, so, you know, everyone is entitled to their own opinions. And I'm going to keep trying out new products and figuring out which one I like the best because when I first started as an artist I only stuck to acrylic paints and colored pencils um, I didn't branch out I didn't like do any of the fun stuff um, now I do clay um, I do pastels um, I do oil paintings all because I tried something new that I've never tried before. Um, so, yeah, that's my opinion. And I'm not trying to bash this person. And please don't leave nasty comments on his comment. Um, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. So, yeah, that is, that's my opinion on his opinion. So, what you doing? Are you being all cute? Are you being all cute? Are you being all cute? Your tail go crazy. You being all cute, huh? You just lazy right now. That's okay. That's okay. Hmm. <laughs>200 subscribers special um i got a few of them one of them was was me wanting to see if my grandparents would guest star in a video call thing on the the camera however they don't really want to do that and i don't blame them um they don't know a whole lot about the internet so um i think my next thing I'm going to do is show art from high school. This is a very old, old folder. It is breaking apart. Breaking apart. I don't even know what's in here because I haven't gone through it since I got it from my mom. I'm hoping that Naruto art that I did is in here from high school because that was my most proud piece of art. It was one of the first ones I did that was really, really good. So I'm hoping the Naruto art is in here. Um, yeah, see, this whole thing is basically broken. Um, I'm going to show the first thing I see, which is a canvas. This is a canvas from high school. There's no date on it from what I can see. Oh, no, wait, yes, there is. Um, 7 9 uh, 2012. This is when I was in high school. And uh, that was back then when I was actually signing on actual artwork. Um, I still do that occasionally, but it's like right here in pencil. Right here. Um, there's that painting. That was a 16 by 20 acrylic painting from high school. Um, I think this was like a backing to uh, a, a picture because there's nothing on here. Um,
So here's a, a stitch pad. This is from Strathmore Newsprint. This was purchased with an art prize money. And I don't know what is on the front. Like, I don't know what that spot is. It doesn't look too great. And this is the only art in here. It shows that I have done other art in here. Because there's torn up pages. But here is, here is this one. And there's like so much other newsprint that looks still usable. This stuff still looks usable. But yeah, I was practicing like Japanese painting at one point, it looked like. Uh, I don't know what year that was from because there's no year on it. Here is. A painting from 2009, so we're getting a little older. Um, this is not my own original art, but this is an acrylic painting. And this was up in the art room on the wall a bunch of times. Again, not my original art. I don't remember where this is from, but this is from a show. And that wolf is a character. But I was so proud of this because I, it was one of my first, like, freehand drawings just looking at pictures and drawing from reference and that is also acrylic painting um, here is another one i'm gonna assume from the same year because this is the same size same type of paper and it was also when I was in high school because this is the only way I can, I was able to get paper like this, um, was from high school. So this is an acrylic painting of an anime character. And that was, I was really proud of those eyes back then. I was really, really proud of the wings and everything. I still feel like I draw like this. I still feel like I haven't really changed much in this aspect. Um, oh, okay, there may be better proportions, but these hands, I was actually really proud of these hands. I don't know if you can see those, but I was really, really proud of these hands, and I'm going to assume they're from the same year, probably the same week. Um, next, here's another one from 2009. Nope. Is that a nine or a four? Yeah, that's a nine. I thought it was a four. It looked like a four. This is also an acrylic painting, and this was for my mom um, because she likes Q Powder's Lighthouse. And I drew this for her. And yeah, I don't know why she doesn't have it, but she doesn't have it. I have it now. So there's this. I still think I haven't changed my technique very much. I'm gonna have to like do a comparison uh, of art from high school. Okay, here's an unfinished artwork. Um, also anime character, no date on it. No signature on it either. Um, this is an unfinished anime character. Again, I don't remember who she is. Um, but this is an anime character from a TV show sitting on a, uh, on a tree with cat ears. Um, next up. I'm missing a lot of art. I should have a lot more art than what I do. Apparently this is the last art from, from my high school art folder and that is this one and it looks like I use crayon looks like I use crayon for this one or pastel maybe it feels kind of like pastel but it could be crayon um but another anime character she's sitting on a lamp post and again I can't 
picture of who she is. I don't know who this person is. But it's from June 10th, 2008. So this one's from 2008. So I was 10th grade. 10th grade of 2008. But there really is no more art in here. And there should be. Um, there is a poster. It's not art, but there is a signed Manic Drive poster. And so, I got the two, these two, to sign it. I just didn't get him to sign it. Because I met these two. Um, yeah. Manic Drive. I used to like them. I don't like them anymore. Yeah, there's absolutely nothing else other than this board, which looks like I taped art to. So, yeah. That is all that was in that folder. I, I've never looked in that since I got it. Um, there's actually a lot more art that should have been in there. There was a Naruto one that I did. Um, there was a graphite sketch that I, I did. So, yeah, I don't know where those two ones are, but... Yeah, uh, that's my high school art. Um, I think I should probably do like a comparison. I guess comparing and contrasting. But I don't have a lot of my art out right now. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope you liked that part of the vlog. So yeah, that's, that's my high school, that's my high school art.